for interrogation and also to talk to you about your habits all through the film. Yeah. All right, welcome to Between Two Spines, season one, episode 13. The lucky 13. Lucky 13. Hope all you dads had a happy Father's Day. Hope you had a happy Father's Day, you guys. Uh, even though this airs on Friday, we're a week behind, but happy Father's Day to all the dads. So, we are, can you guess where we're at? I would think. Side behind kind of right there. So we are with <laughs> the owner, <laughs> operator, pizza maker, scratch golfer, overall um, overall good human being, Eric Bergman, owner of Polly Eyes Pizza. Okay, first question. Oh, so I don't pretend there's an audience and I have to do my intro and say hi. Yeah, 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 go ahead. Yeah. yeah. We can add more that question. So first question, and this has to be cleared up. Polly eyes or Pagli eyes? Polly eyes. Yes. Silent G. Yes. You Silent heard it here G. first. I, and if well, you said the other, I wasn't going to, I was not going to say it. Right out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, no. would, I would dub it over. Yeah. Uh, Polly eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nobody would know because everyone yeah. I've ever told them like it's Polly Eyes. Well, it's like, eyes. like we did with the, the intro with the offering of beverages, this will be my Monday, the first time I've been asked that. It'll happen a few more times this week. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. In, a normal, in a normal week, we usually sell well, a couple of arguments. Maybe they won't because this will clear it up for three, four, five thousand or, or however many people are going to watch right. it. So it's Polly Eyes. Pally. Now, if you want to say, hey, we're going to PAGS, yeah, the short you version. You can say PAGS, the G is there in the short version. Yeah, we allow that. But Polly Eyes, stop it. Right now. <laughs> if you're going to say anything, I'm so I'm glad I'm right. I'm so glad I'm right. Don't be bossy. People if there's just... one thing I've learned about you, it's that you love to be right. I don't like to be right. I was just going to say that. You love to be right. No, I don't. Yes, you no, do. I don't. Yes, you no, do. I like to be right about things like that where I've given people advice or I've corrected people, and I'm glad that I'm right since I have told that. Well, who did you correct? 30 something years. Huh? Who did you correct? I've corrected a lot of people. I've been coming here since I was months old. Yeah. Months old. Months old. Yeah. No one some pizza in months old. Months so what's what's new? That. What what what's what do you do? I mean, what what do you love about this place? What's great about this place? Uh, Tell the people watching in a entertaining fashion. <laughs> don't put pressure. <laughs> uh, you know, I don't know. I was the same way as Aaron was. I was uh, as a kid, uh, ate here and then started working here, and yeah. it's just kind of my second home. Has been since I was a kid. So, so. your your father in law used to own it, right? Right. Or, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, how, how, tell me the history. How did you get get into it? Well, um, I was working somewhere else, and I always kind of considered myself a hard worker. Someone asked for a raise, didn't get it, and I was eating here a lot, and they were hiring. So, <clears throat> the reason I was eating here is because my stepdad, as high school as a high schooler, worked here for like one year, right when it first opened, and so he always brought us here to eat as kids, and. Uh, so once I was looking for another job eating here, and I just talked to him, and I was the only high school kid working here. They all hated me. Uh, <laughs> the managers who like would kind of wait, serve me, and I saw didn't want the owner to hire me because they didn't hire. They didn't like hiring customers. They didn't like hiring high school kids. So it took me a while because everybody else was college. <clears throat> so I worked here for, gosh, I don't know. I started in 93, the very beginning. I remember you working here. Yeah, yeah. but back then I was washing dishes, delivering pizzas. Um, and then went off back and forth to college and I'd come home for Thanksgiving to pick up pizza. They're busy and Mark, the owner at the time, would, hey, we need help. And I'd end up all night making pizzas to, just to get mine for free. Back then the child labor laws were a little more lax, I think. <laughs> um, and then, I, you know, over time I moved, moved away and then came back and was working, kind of man started managing the place as the owners uh, started, were kind of backing off a little bit. and. That's when my stepdad, his dream had always been from when he worked here in high school. He always wanted to own his own business and wanted to own this business in particular. So since I was already here kind of running it, they bought it and I ran it for them for a little while. Um, and then I went away and did my own thing again once he retired from his other job. And then uh, they were getting ready to retire and I don't know, we just kind of on the whim. I think we talked about it around Christmas. I think we had a Christmas get together. I'd been helping them, you know, pursue other other investors and then uh by february we closed on it and that was that's been quite a few years well 2016, 2016. so just just over four years ago now so but that's still i mean half my life i've been some way involved or working here so how how when did it open 1968 1968 yeah we just went past our 50th year here it's crazy yeah 
1960. That's amazing. A lot of pies thrown. That's a couple amazing. dozen. What is it? Has, it? has a whole lot changed since then here? I mean, not that uh, you were, were there in 1968, but I mean, are the pizzas pretty similar from the end? Well, we, what's the? Yeah, well, I mean, as far as I know now, the Pollyer family is the one that opened it, but they, they kind of sold it off through, they had some managers uh, that they sold to, and then that's when my boss was kind of the godson of one of their managers up north, and it was too far away for them to manage remotely, and then I guess they are having issues, so they sent Mark down, who was my boss, who I worked for for quite a while. Uh, so, I mean, you know, he owned it for 25 years, and then my mom and stepdad owned it for 18 years, and then now me for, you know, I'm starting my fifth year. So, um, so I mean, I, as far as I know, from all the way back then, he trained me, he worked for the family, then, uh, hmm. you know, owned this for 25 years, and that's how Now, there's another Pollyad, does that have anything to do with this one? Well, they're all, they're all from the same family, I don't, they're, you know, they're people... Is that in Illinois or something? Well, there, there's about, oh, now there's eight or nine of them, probably, probably. still. Yeah, uh, but no, not the same. Fa I mean, the same family started, and, I, and uh, but no, there's been no affiliation. Like I said, this one the Pollyan family sold to my, or you know, they sold it, and then I guess sold it uh, anyway. But hmm. probably I think Mark. Well, and I know Judy the owned it. recipes haven't changed. It tastes like it did as far as nostalgia. Like I remember it tasting yeah. well. Well, that's what that's what we tried. I always get uh, distributors want, uh, that you know have certain products, but we kind of like to do it our way and make it our way and keep it keep it the same so as far as I know now I mean all the recipes that I've ever made since I was a kid you know 25 years ago and the, the guy that taught me had owned it for a good 20 years before that wow. so I would assume what I learned was the way he learned which should That's be awesome. pretty the same now the interior has, has changed a decent amount like the door you came in you would have taken a right and kind of gone in along that wall we had like an old yeah. well when I was a kid we had the 45 jukebox and a big upgrade to CDs the old, the old 45 yeah. was awesome. It was really because you could throw nickels in real hard. You get like 22 credits because you hit it just right. But I mean, you know, there's like 30 records, which only means 60 songs, so you get burned out pretty fast. Uh, so the upgrade. Oh, it's was, good you don't have touch tunes in here. <laughs> every time I, I swear, you would think we have a sponsor from We're Touch Tunes. We should. Every Touch Tunes, please sponsor. Every time we talk he, about he talks about it every now. single time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Touch yeah. Tunes. But we're here to talk about Patty Bag. Pat Polly Eyes. Polly Eyes. I can't See, say it right. Now you said you Polly settled eyes. it, but how long did it take? Yeah, exactly. Polly Eyes. Come on. Polly Eyes. Okay. Uh, I can't, I can't uh, speak an Italian uh, accent apparently very well. I don't know. Polly, Polly, Polly Eyes. Polly Eyes. Polly eyes. Uh, one, one thing you have changed that I appreciate, and I know a lot of people have, is your your beer list. Yeah. Like that's that's a huge upgrade from, you know, the Coors Light, Bud Light, it used to be. Yeah. And I got a funny story about that. So my my dad and the whole Cofeld softball team, uh, Cofeld, we need another sponsor. But we need another sponsor. Yeah. Cofeld, that's right. Sponsor. Uh, so they used to play softball, and they used to come here and eat pizza because I think some of them. Is it Ron? Yeah, Ron. Yeah, he always played for yeah. softball for Cofeld. He played, and and and, uh, and there was yeah, just a whole bunch of guys. But they would come here, and they were mad they didn't have Coors Light. So they would take their pizza, and they'd go next door to. Uh, well, what's it called? Eli's? Eli's? The Palladium. It was the Palladium back yeah, then. Palladium. Yeah. Somebody just came in last night and showed me a sign. They bought it when oh, yeah. Schmidt passed away. Bought so they used to go next door because they had Coors Light. So they would order pizza and they would just walk next door. Well, that's why what they got Coors Light up on tap here because he was sick of them going over there hmm. and eating. Oh, wow. Yeah, I always heard stories because uh, I know Mark, I think, used to always have. Uh, I, I, I didn't know why the change, but it's yeah. been kind of the same. But we've expanded back. When I was a kid, we only had the one. We had Coors Light, and technically back then they had, I think, it was a non-intoxicating liquor license. So it was 3.2 percent Coors Light. Now, if you wanted a beer, it was a Coors Light Draft, 3.2 percent. Oh, that's it. funny. That's great. So you know, when uh, that was when I first, when my stepdad bought it, I was like, so we we brought in some more, and now I've just kind of yeah. There's a ton. There's IPAs. There's hazy IPAs. Which, and which is this day and age is a lot filter. easier. Yeah, there's it's all, all kinds of beers. The heyday of the craft beer. So back in the day, it was kind of hard to find even yeah. uh, a whole big mixture. Now it's, I mean, you know, it's you gotta have all the choices. You know, that's that's yeah. what it well, is. Well, you gotta have lots of it. Well, I mean, people want that. Yeah, and there's only so, so much. It's easier. Can, it's easier to to get it because right. people are, are being. It could be a little new. overwhelming. I try to I try to find a, a good version of each kind of style. Like you look up there, I've got a couple of stouts that I think are pretty solid. And, and uh, you know, IPAs are kind of my wheelhouse, and there's mm -hmm. a nice little mix of those, and then you know, brown ale, and then you know, a lager, and you know. What's your uh, favorite pizza? 
Yeah. I mean, you're talking to a guy that for the better part of 25 years. There were days back before I owned him when I was manager where I'd be just, once I clocked in, I was stuck here. So I'd eat two meals a day, five or six days a week. I mean, mm. I, I just eat whatever. I mean, I eat weird combinations of people's favorite grows. I eat the common ones. Sometimes we mess up. Well, on the menu though, like what's, you know, just whatever you think. Um, I mean, our most popular is probably a special, which is great. Uh, I mean, I, I mean, like literally it. every day I eat a different pizza. And just <laughs> like, I mean, I just throw it together. And like I said, there might be a mistake. I'm like, oh, that sounds good. Or <laughs> that night you're making a pizza and some, you know, the oven guy or me or somebody's like, man, that looks really good. It smells really good. That was so, my favorite part about working. I used to work at Little Caesars just experimenting and making yeah. new things. Yeah. So we should have a between two spines pizza. Well, I was thinking, you know, like in podcast world, it's like, okay, you do my podcast, you come do my podcast, and then you just have this big kind of podcast pool where everybody's doing each other's podcast. So I was gonna, I was thinking maybe I just get a couple pizza peels and I'll have between two peels. Oh, there you go. And there then, you go. Yeah. And yeah, then, uh, so I'll steal your idea and just do. That's fine. Yeah. And then I'll have you back and we'll switch seats. I like it. Somehow I'll split in half and I'll sit on either side of you. Yeah, that, I like that. That's and then I'll interview you. You let me know. That's yeah. fine. Yeah. I've got to get the technology where I can split myself and still host the show. <laughs> well, well, you know, being in the chiropractic world, you know, we're all we about the health, that. wellness, that sort of thing. Yeah, yeah. We, could, we could split, maybe healthfully, that, healthfully do that. Or, but you have a lot of healthy options on the menus, too. I mean, that's one of the things. And um, technically, having a glass of wine is very healthy, believe it or not. So, yeah. Every, yeah. Well, we mix it up. I mean, now we were getting into, not, you know, with everything going on, I've things and just personally and everything i just get behind the back burner but you know we've got vegan cheese now for just because you know there are family members that are doing you know that maybe are, have allergies like I, some of my family things like that so we have some of that i mean i'm growing fresh basil right now so when stuff comes in one of our servers always grows a big garden with heirloom tomatoes so when things are in season we, that's awesome so when we're talking about anything new i mean we're i stick with the pizza i don't mess with recipes but you know we you know, when I when I came back and took over, I added a few things uh, to. Although sometimes our topping list can be overwhelming too, but added some stuff to that. And then when it's in season, you know, it's nice to have some other fresh options. Anything new new coming down the road? Oh, I try not to do new. No when secrets. <laughs> no secrets. Like I said, I when when you guys got here, I was uh, pinching off basil to make it kind of branch out better. Uh, so uh, right now we're just I'm in the early stages of basil. Uh, and then I said the vegan cheese are the main things. Right now we're just trying to. Dr. G, what's your favorite pizza? My favorite pizza? Your toppings. Dude, I, I love all pizza. Yeah, I like too. food in general. I can eat pizza every day. Yeah. yeah. I, uh, so if you I'm, had toppings here. But if I, if I had toppings, if I had to pick, um, I'm a big meat guy. Yeah. Like just meat lovers, just all of it on one. Like, yeah, I, I do the house throw pepperoni. Throw Almost pepperoni exclusive. and hamburger yeah. and sausage and all of it. Just Put it all on, and yeah. then put cheese on the underneath and on top, and it's just you know, that, yeah. that's me. Like okay. I want a fork and a knife. <laughs> like I can't yeah. pick this thing up; it's falling apart. Yeah. I like the crunchy, so I get mine well done. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Say just a little well done. Yeah. And uh, Angie doesn't like it. My wife likes it more like that. So they get their own pizzas. They roll them up like big old burritos. <laughs> next, you know. So I'm like, just let half the pizza hang out of the oven for just a little bit. So mine's well done. Hers is. Yeah. I've not, i have not met a match, man. You, uh, we'll you guys you. definitely make the best pizza. I've ever had in my, uh, you know, four, right. four plus decades for sure. Uh, my wife feels the same way, and uh, yeah, well, I appreciate it. I, you know, if you guys haven't been to Poly Eyes, check it out. I, if you haven't, what's your problem? <laughs> right? If there's anyone watching this now, the uh, three, four, five, six thousand people are like, hey, hun, have you heard of that Poly Eyes place? No, I had, it's almost I, a sin. I just had somebody that said their grandmother has lived there. Like, we just found, we just heard about this really nice Italian place. And they're like, what? And like, Polly, I was like, they've been there 50 years, Grandma. <laughs> and she lived on the other side of Capitol Park. So, it's like six blocks from here. So, we, we found a way to fly under the radar for the last 50 years. So, I don't know how, because it's, it's, it's good. Okay. All right. Hey, well, anything else you want to add? Yeah. Anything else? Anything else? That's it. Uh, no, I have nothing. Cool. Awesome. Well, thanks for doing this once again. Yeah, of course. Thanks um, for coming. Yeah. Uh, please share, like, comment. Also, put extra uh, guests if you want to have other guests on this. Uh, let us know. Other than that, if you have any requests for uh, Eric here on toppings or something that yeah. you would well, like us, to see, why are you here? opening cans of worms like that? Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let <laughs> us know. Let us know your favorite. Kind of funny, your huh? favorite yeah. toppings. Let us know your favorite toppings. That's I'd like to see uh, the habanero. Why don't we do that? Habanero. Oh, yeah. 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 
We're gonna get all sorts of requests. Yeah. All right, that's it. We're we're done. We're out. We're uh, even overtime.